out. Hey, what's up YouTube? Matt's back today with another group of packs and boxes to open from Grand Slam Collectibles. And let's see what I got. So I've been messing with different varieties of mystery packs and mystery boxes, and this is what I have today. This is the Beth's box from Grand Slam Collectibles. This package costs about $200 for shipping and taxes, and you're guaranteed $250 in value. You can specify what sports you want. I chose baseball, obviously. And what I'll do is, as I'm discussing what we have here, I'll throw it up on the left-hand side, what it actually costs on their website. Um, if for whatever reason I can't find it, I will source um, you know, the next best alternative online. So I'm going to start with the big ones first. Um, this is a hobby box of Tox Gold Label. So we are guaranteed one gold framed autograph in this box. They're typically about $100. Um, that I've seen them anywhere as low as $80. Next is a box I have never opened. It's Topps Archives Signature Series. There is only one card in this box and it is an autograph. I haven't opened this or base archives on the channel yet, so this will be a first. And pretty cool box. We've got a hobby pack of Panini Contenders, which I've opened a lot of and I like. Hopefully we hit the auto in there. There's one per pack on average. We've got a fat pack of 19 update series. We have a fat pack of series 2 2020. We have a Don Russ Diamond Kings 2020 pack. We've got a pack of 2020 Bowman Hobby. We have a Hobby pack of 2020 Update. And we have a Fat pack of 2020 Update. So I'm going to start with Panini Contenders 2020. Wish me luck. So we've seen majority of these cards before. There are about 11 base cards in this set, and then we start getting into what we're really after. Again, I like the look of these. They look like little ticket stubs, which I think is cool, along with the details of the players on the left-hand side. So there's a DJ LeMahieu, and our first purple pair, well, our first parallel at all is a red parallel of Charlie Blackman numbered through 99. Our next card is a purple parallel of Vladdy Jr. And Arya is making herself noticed once per video. What's up, bud? Hey, say hi. Arya. <laughs> Our next purple parallel is JT Real Muto. And we've got a David Fletcher. We did hit the autograph in this pack. This is a Keen Wong from San Francisco. Rookie roundup card. Well, we're one for one in autos. And we've got a Trout. A Nate Pearson. Sandy Koufax legendary card. And last is Zach Veen from Colorado. So. Not a bad pack. We scored a red parallel and we got our autograph on average. Next is Diamond Kings 2020. I have not opened any pack of this. I really haven't looked at this set at all. Um, all right, I have a lot of light today, which is unusual. And first card is Ty Cobb. We have a Danny Mendick rookie card, Jackie Robinson, we've got a Larry Walker, Satchel Paige, a Christian Yelich in the zone card, and last is Sam Rice. Now these are really cool. They have a lot of texture, almost like the paint was applied directly to the canvas. 
Uh, maybe that's how they're designed, I'm not really sure. This is also not the set I was thinking of. There's a Panini set where you get what seems to be a whole bunch of random cards or inserts that uh, I also know is a Donruss set. But anyway, that's not the one I... Those are actually really cool. I'm excited to open more of those. Um, this is a 2020 Bowman Hobby Pack. There's a chance we find an auto in here. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but there is a chance. I see a parallel. We have a Sheldon Noose rookie card. We have a Yamamoto rookie of the year insert. Brennan Davis, Hayes with the Pirates. We have a Drew Waters Bowman Chrome card. I'm really excited about him as I am a Braves fan. We have a Bowman First of Joe Ryan with the Rays. We've got a Tony Gonsolin rookie card. And last is Yu Chang. Next, I'm going to open the 2020 Update Hobby Pack. I haven't opened a lot of these on stream or on YouTube, but I am very familiar with the set. Ian Turley, Cuthbert, Spire Rookie Card, there is a Luis Severino. Jose Martinez, Josh Harrison. We have a 1985 skin of David Price. Justin Verlander. Todd Frazier. Garcia and Logan Morrison to round up the end. Now let's continue with the fat pack of update. Looking for rookies. We haven't scored a lot of the big name rookies yet, given that we did open Bowman and we are going through tops now. There's Brendan McKay, Alex Wood, Yelich, Cervelli with the Marlins. I believe he retired. He played pretty well last year for the Braves. Jose Martinez, Harrison again. Lopez, Mabin. There's a Randy Arzarania. Speaking of rookies that we don't have and we're looking for, that's a good one. Mookie Betts. Echeverria, Verlander again, Todd Frazier, getting close to the hits, Logan Morrison, Gibson, Chris Owings, we've got a Mike King rookie card, Jordan Alvarez rookie cup Gold Cup card, that's a good one. I think he's going to have a great year next year. In one of my Panini videos, I pulled a redemption card of his. I'm still waiting for it in the mail. There's Aaron Judge. Expecting that to be worth a pretty penny as I had high hopes for that card. That came out of the first pack of Panini I had ever opened, I believe. Jose Iglesias. Jonathan Villar, Anthony Rendon. We have a Christian Yelich out of 2020. I believe this is the gold card, and it is. Terrence Gore Foil. We have a Juan Soto 1985. And Decades Best Chipper Jones is the last card. Second to last. Nate Pier Pearson is the last card. So not a bad pack. We scored Randy out of there. 
Next up is 2020 Series 2. We've got a Seattle Mariners team card, Chris Bryant. Max Freed, Future Stars. Salvador Perez, Will Myers, Garrett Cole, Jan Gomes, Josh Riddick, Jake Cave, I don't know why they do this. By the time I flip them <laughs> right side up, I'm going to have to flip them again. Ugh. Ryan Zimmerman. Tony Kemp. I wonder if he has any relations to Matt Kemp, although they don't really look similar. Xander Bogarts, Jose Rodriguez. A lot of nothing in this pack so far. Hopefully the tail end makes up for it. There's a Gio Gonzalez. Kim rookie card. We have a Mike Trout tops now card. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's, it looks looks to be like an ins looks to be an insert. Oh, Mike Trout. Not the greatest card I've ever seen. We have a Michael Taylor gold card, which is not numbered. Milwaukee Braves, 1950s. We have a Glaber Torres, 1985 skin. And last is a Christian Yelich 2030 card. So far, nothing really to write home about. This is 2019 update. There are a lot of cards in these fat packs. I'm not used to opening these. I believe they all have 46 in them. I like to look at each one individually instead of flying right through them. You know, mainly because I haven't seen a lot of these cards before. And uh, it's easy for me just to overlook something when I go through them quick. There's a Ryu All-Star Game card when he was with LA. Jacob DeGrom, All-Star Game. Jake Bowers, rookie card. Jonathan Lucroy, there is a Kristen Yelich, greater players card. Austin Meadows, 150 years. 1984 top skin of Victor Robles. We have a Nolan Arenado relic. Game use memorabilia of the purple Rockies uniforms. That's really, really cool. I don't have a whole lot of anything from Nolan. And uh, I just didn't I didn't see the thicker card in here. I don't like to look. And that's a really cool pull for me. Really nice card. The base top set and relics. They're not super flashy, but they just it's a really, really clean card. That's a good one. Jose Suarez, Robbie Cano, who he just got suspended actually. I didn't catch what he did in the ESPN bottom ticker, but I just saw that he was suspended. 
believe throughout the whole entire year of or season of 2021. Rolled as Chapman. Paul DeJong. Sonny Gray. Uh, we didn't get any big time rookie cards out of this pack, but we did score the Nolan Relic. Which, if you look like this, that's painstakingly obvious that there's a relic in there. <laughs> so next, I'm going to do Topps Gold Label and save signature, signature Series Archives for last. As it's one card and an auto, and hopefully it's a big one. This set I've opened a fair amount of. I like it. The autos are really, really good or really, really bad based on what I've seen. We'll save the auto for last. For those that are unfamiliar with it, it's always this thicker pack as it is a gold frame card. Very, very obvious which one it is. Well, we've got an Albert Pujols, Jesus Lazardo. There are lots of parallels and different, speaking of parallels, here is a red Jackie Robinson class two out of 50. There are lots of parallels in this set and lots of variations based on the class system. This is a class one Gavin Lux rookie card. Which is pretty cool in my opinion. Gives you a lot of variety. You get at least one class two card per pack, I believe, and class threes are one out of Two or one out of three packs. There's a Kyle Lewis Class 2 rookie card. Oh, so far, so good in here. Andrew McCutcheon with the fills. Zach Gallon rookie card, Class 1. We have a Mike Schmidt, Joey Gallo, and Chris Bryant. Nolan Ryan, Steven Strasburg, there is a Class 3 J.D. Martinez, Juan Soto Class 2, and Mike Trout. So Class 1, Class 2, and Class 3 of the same player yield different pictures on the card, which make them a little different. Class 3 is the most rare. Um, Kyle Lewis rookie card, Class 1 black variant. These are not numbered. Shane Bieber, Class 2. There's Mo, Class 2. And Javier Baez. Last, car, or last pack before the auto. Wilson Contreras. We have a Joey Gallo. Our Class 2 card is Miguel Cabrera and George Springer. I believe there are three cards in this pack. So, we have a Class 3 of Ozzy Albies. We have a Class 1 rookie card of Aristides Acuna. Aquino. And our auto is... Oh my god! We have a blue parallel out of 50 of Ronald Acuna Jr. So, the other 5 or 6 boxes of this, however many I've opened... I've royally struck out on the auto, and as I said, they're hit or miss. This is most definitely a hit. This is my first and only Ronald Acuna Jr. autographed anything, and this is a hell of a card. Cool. <laughs> my thicker sleeves are not in my office. Um, I'm going to run down and get one as soon as I'm done opening this box and uh, we'll call it a video but that one's got me really excited <laughs> that more than likely pays for the box 
All right, so this is one one card per pack. I don't know what this looks like. Hopefully, oh, well, never mind. <laughs> I just ruined it. <laughs> So sometimes there's a little bit of a skin on top of the card for dramatic, you know, reveal purposes. But we have a Mike Clevenger out of 83. I believe this is a 1983 Tops skin, which is also why it's out of 83. But Mike Clevenger, auto, out of 83. So pretty cool card. Not as exciting as the Acuna Jr., but... You know, it's a guaranteed auto, and it's in this, you know, hard plastic, really cool case. You know, you know it's going to be in really, really good condition. It'll probably, you know, certify as a 9 or a 10 if you ever had it graded. And, uh, you know, pretty cool. I spoiled, spoiled it a little bit just because I didn't know how the pack was going to look. But there's the big one. So like I said at the beginning, I like trying these variety assortment packs or boxes just because I haven't opened a whole lot of any of any baseball card from 2000 to really 2020. And uh, it's cool to see the different packs and start, you know, to build my collection. Also, you get a pretty good value for your money um, doing it that way. You know, you pay $200 retail or whatever the base price is that they charge for the box and typically you get... You know, anywhere between 10 and 25 percent um, in additional value, which is cool. It's you know, it's designed that way to sell, and I'm sure they sell a lot of them. So if you are interested in the Beth's box, you can check them out at Grand Slam Collectibles. And anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. So you know, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and have a good one. See you guys. Bye.